Hi, my name is Emily Wersba and I am SPNL's lobbyist working on climate change in the environment. And I'm really excited to talk to you all today about the importance of telling your own personal story in a lobby visit. We found uh, through our experience on the Hill that often the most way, effective way to connect with a member and to change their mind on an issue is to tell a personal story about how um, your, their issue affects you and your community locally. Um, so I want to introduce to you all a framework that I often use in my own lobbying to kind of help break down an effective way to, to guide and direct your story. So I like to think of this um, broken up into facts, myths, and values. So for example, um, facts is looking at the reality um, of how the issue affects you and your community. Um, what is the potential impact and how are you experiencing it? Uh, when you think about myths, uh, you're thinking about um, what's maybe a contested narrative, a different way that the member of Congress might view this piece of legislation and how it affects um, that district. And then the values is the underlying um, core values and ethics and morals that are, that are guiding and motivating a member of Congress and their worldview. So I want to give you a quick example of how this relates to my own climate change work. A fact is that human activity is causing climate change. Um, a myth around this might be that uh, our Earth isn't actually warming and that it's part of a natural uh, cyclical um, event. And, but maybe an underlying value if a member of Congress believes that myth has less to do with the science and more to do with the way that they view um, the economy um, and the, you know, this idea that government intervention in the economy um, is, is not a good thing and that the market should, uh, should be free. So maybe that, that core value is actually what's motivating a member rather than uh, their, their belief in science for an example. So I want to tell you a quick story of how one of our constituents um, used their personal story in a very effective way to connect to a member of Congress's core values. A group of students was lobbying the former member of Congress from Pennsylvania, Mike Fitzpatrick, talking about climate change. And one of the students in that visit talked about his own asthma and how he was nervous that climate change would make asthma worse and make it harder for him to play soccer. He also talked about all the thousands of other children that also have asthma in Pennsylvania. And so he was able to connect this to uh, Congressman Fitzpatrick's own family values because the congressman has six children himself. And he's, he was deeply motivated by youth and children issues and public health. And so by, by telling the story, he was really able to speak to the congressman about why climate change was so important. And it was in a way that the member of Congress could really hear and listen to what he was having to say. So I want us to think for a minute now about our own personal stories. When you first decided to choose on a particular, to lobby on a particular issue, what was it um, that motivated you to pick, to pick that topic? Uh, is it what was it about your own core values, maybe your religious beliefs, or maybe a personal experience that you or a friend or family member have had with that particular issue? Uh, why, why did you choose to lobby on this issue? Think about what those core values are that motivate you to, to care. Um, and then think about how can you connect your own core values and your own personal story to maybe the core values that your member of Congress holds. So try to figure out what that intersection is, and you'll find that that will be the most effective way to actually have your member of Congress truly hear and resonate with the story that you tell. So we're going to now um, spend some a few minutes hearing from other lobbyists at FCNL, some of their effective stories um, that they've seen to be really influential in lobbying. Um, so I hope that will be helpful to you.